All right, heathens. I'm sure you've heard of Boulder whiskey from uh, Colorado. Legends say there's a new Canadian exclusive and uh, there are sherry casks involved. So when there's sherry casks involved, I'm uh, heavily invested. I would uh, like to set myself out on this sniper trail and see if I can find some of this rare and elusive Boulder whiskey. So I do hope that you will join me on my journey. <laughs> Here we have it, folks, the trail head. Here's where it starts. So, we've been uh, about an hour on the trail here, and uh, I got some cigars for sustenance. We're still a couple hours away, I figure, until we get the actual um, Holy Grail. Boulder. It's way hotter than I thought out here. Shit. I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I got good news and bad news. Sun's going down. I'm at a boulder. <sighs> but we're close. <laughs> Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where it's always five o'clock. You can tell mm. at the time of the clock. I should get a tattoo. I was just about to say, you should get a tattoo Might right there. Well. It's time. <laughs> uh, as you see by the introduction there, the uh, extra long introduction. Uh, Looks fabulous, by the way. Oh, thank you so much. Not as easy to just go out and grab one of these. No? No, although at the airing of this video, it is still available. Okay, so hey, that's exciting. Yes, that is exciting. Shall we talk a little bit about what yeah. it is? Yeah. Boulder Spirits American Single Malt Whiskey, 52.5%, The Trailhead. Now, this is a Canada release called Northern Neighbors. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that uh, is really cool, okay? Like, show the people the label here. Look at that. Look at it. Just look at it. Would you look at that? Oh, uh, would you look at that? Put that Just on. look at that. Uh, Northern Neighbors, 53 gallon white oak barrels. Very cool. Very so, cool. Uh, on the sticker, it also shows LS and PWS. Very, very interesting. So, on the back, the Trailhead American Single Malt Whiskey. By 2022, we've been distilling single malt whiskey for seven years. Nice. This has given us time to build an inventory of casks to select from with a wide array of flavor profiles. The Trailhead release. It's American, they spell flavor wrong, but that's okay. Without the U? That's right. Wow. <laughs> like, seriously. Why are you the way that you are? 
Uh, the Trailhead release is an example of the new flavors that are now achievable with American single malt. This whiskey, that's a uh, whiskey with an E. Yeah, so, again, Merca. All right. This whiskey is a marriage of two Pedro Jimenez sherry butts, each filled with single malt whiskey of different batches oh. and each with their own distinct attributes. Sherry butts. That's correct, yeah. <laughs> the richness and complexity of this whiskey is led by notes of leather, white pepper, fig, and lemongrass. Shut up. Truly a whiskey that demands your full attention. Yes, sir. Are you paying attention? Are you paying attention to me? I am. Okay, single malt whiskey aged for 4.5 years. Distilled and bottled, bottled by Vapor Distillery, Boulder, Colorado. Cool. USA. America. USA. To the USA. To our neighbors to the south, our Cheers, southern Joe. neighbors. Yep. Um, <clears throat> smells hot, a little bit hot. Oh, it totally is hot. However, it's 52.5%. So we do have some water just off camera here uh, in our trusty uh, Glen Farkless jug. But uh, we're gonna try a knee first. And on the nose, to me, super sherry. Boulder oh, yeah. style. Boulder has like a little bit of a sharp kind of intensity to it that I like at cask strength. But you add some water and I'm betting this is gonna be like scratchy and fucking delicious. What do you uh, what do you feel on the nose? Other than hot, you're right on the sherry. Yeah, it's it's. I don't intense. think this is going to be too dank for you because it's PX. It it's got a touch of that butt. Yeah, but it's like fruity. Yeah, in a nice way. Yeah, dark fruits. <sighs> oh, Lemongrass. I don't I don't get so much lemongrass, but uh, there is a touch of lemon though. No, Figs. No, 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 actual lemon. A little citrus. A little citrusy, eh? We'll Let, let's give it a taste, shall we? All right, if you insist. Hmm. Hmm. Mm, that's sweet. Very tangy. Some sour oak in there. <clears throat> we give you Jim Carrey, you give us this. It's a pretty good trade. Is it? I'll have you know I have the reflex of a cat and the speed of a mongoose. Yeah, I mean, Jim Carrey's pretty amazing. Jim Carrey's pretty good. Mongoose. This is pretty good. This, this is, is pretty, pretty good. good. <laughs> it is pretty good. I'm going to have a couple more sips, and I'm going to add some water here. Mm. That heat from the nose translates to the tongue as well. It mm -hmm. does come in a little hot. That's very yummy. Now, um, whoops, I put a, a pretty full sploosh in there as well. So, like... Uh, I don't know, 15 drops of water, maybe. <clears throat> I got some notes here, too. Um, one cask of peated malt, one cask of unpeated malt. Both aged four years in heavily charred oak casks. Both were transferred into PX Sherry casks for another year. The two casks were blended together, and this is what came out. I don't get any peat. 850 bottles. 630 came to Canada. Wow. And the rest are at the distillery. <clears throat> All right then. Yeah. Now, uh, Pete, not so much. There's no smoke. No. No. Um, um, it's definitely uh, taken a, a background to the sherry, right? And the, what I'm thinking is a uh, malty kind of sourness going on in there. I get that pepper they're talking about. Oh, oh wow. Did you have water? I did. Oh, oh, man. It's like brightened so much up on the nose with water. I've been drinking it. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to add some more water. I'm bringing this way down, folks. Like, way down. Yeah? Yeah. Like, this is probably below 40 or around 40 right now. Oh, that nose. Oh, my God. Sweet and tangy sherry on the nose. And... All that harshness is completely gone. There's, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of ashiness in there now, but just a touch of ashiness. Not much peat still. Did that do anything for you? Change the peat at all? <clears throat> Not on the nose. Oh my goodness. No, if you gave this to me blind, I wouldn't think there was peat in this at all. No, me either. Which. Not disappointing, just you're telling me there's peat. 
I'm looking yeah. for it, and I'm not finding it. Yeah. Now, I don't know if they care if anyone knows that there's peat, but... Uh, well, I mean, they didn't put it on the label. If they wanted you to know, yeah, they'd have told you. that's the thing. I don't think they care. I don't think it's so much relevant. Someone knew. I mean, the things that, are, <clears throat> that matter are uh, it's distilled at the base of the Rocky Mountains using glacial melt mm. water mm. and 100% uh, malted barley. These mm. are the things that they want you to know. Mm. I am noticing just every time I look at this label, there's something new. They had a nice little barrel there. Man, there's a sourness in there. They had a rope and a carabiner because it's a trailhead. You're getting ready to hike and mountaineer. As you've seen cool. in the intro video. Mm. Well, did more than I was willing to. So, like, I'm going to just pour another here because <laughs> that first one was just me getting acquainted. And now I was going to touch a wine gum. Yes, yes, you nailed it, man. That's that sour I'm getting. Yeah, okay. I know that note exactly that you're talking about. Oh, oh, oh man. Okay. Fucking nailed it. It's like a wine gum. Wine gum. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. Hands down. Wow, buddy. Folks, mm. if you like wine gums, go ahead and hit that like button. <laughs> Subscribe, yeah. share, comment. Do it. Yeah, share it on your Facebook and shit like that. Do Whole it. new audience, right? Hmm. <laughs> It is really nice. Oh, it's uh, sorry, I forgot it was back at Cast Strength. Mmm. That's yummy. Good. I'm gonna add just a little touch this time. Just a little. That was about six drops. I just like it. It's just good. Um, yeah, it's, it's I don't quite, know if we have time good. to touch on American single malt. Yeah. Um, this is a new Sing definition single malt coming whiskey. in. We're tightening the, the definition of that. Yeah, um, like there's broad definitions at, at different geographic locations. But my understanding is <clears throat> this is from Boulder and it's malted barley. 100% malted yes. barley. And that's it. American okay. single malt. Boulder single malt. Colorado single malt? Yeah. With glacial melt water. Yeah, I don't know if it's grown awesome. in Colorado. Well, you know, I don't have my glasses on, so... I'm not going to pretend to read that. That's fine. Don't even attempt. You just find words spelled without use. So strange. Anywho, Northern Neighbor. They're like, Northern fuck neighbors. you, Britain. <laughs> right? Can't really... It's, it's so cool to see oh, awesome wait. stuff That's inappropriate up. after Her Majesty's funeral. Why? <laughs> not for the Americans. <laughs> not for me either. <laughs> fuck that dusty bitch. Uh, <clears throat> so, Canada release. Very cool to see. It's nice that we get all these specialty products brought up for us yeah from our southern man, neighbors man seriously very cool it's really fun being america's hat or you know they could be canada's shorts because we wear shorts in the winter here i'm wearing shorts right now mm -hmm. um end of the day tasty 140 bucks is that how much it was yeah, yeah i was just about to ask how much is it but when you're getting something that's almost cask strength yeah it's good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's I pretty don't good. think you'll be disappointed if you enjoy sherry and you enjoy American malt. Of course. It was hard not to love them all. But this one with the wine gummies in there, that note, you you hit that bang on. Yeah. Wine gummies, man. This is a wine gummy bomb. Even though sherry. Sherry's wine. Yeah, fortified. Yeah. 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 Mmm. Mm. This is rather enjoyable. Well, uh, I think with everything, this is like a 15 minute video, so why don't we just drink more? Yep. Okay. I'll just pour a little. To uh, PWS, big thanks for bringing this yeah. in. To Boulder, I'll leave what you're doing. Fair Learn how to fun. spell flavor and we'll be alright. Very well. To you, brother. To you, heathens out there. Yup. To y'all.